to Java for Beginners Part 7. This is uh, a lesson going to be on arrays. Now, arrays are a type of uh, data structure that allow us to store data in a well, in a list. If you're coming from Python, it's called a list. Um, but, you know, of course, being Java, it has its own way of doing things. So let's say, for example, uh, we had uh, some scores for a student. So we said int score 1, if score 1 equals... Um, say 85, and int score 2 equals 90, and because I'm used to Python now, I'm going to be <laughs> forgetting my semicolons, score score 3 equals 100, etc., etc. Um, so basically what we have here is we have three separate values. You see these little squiggly lines, that, it's just doing that because we haven't actually used score 1 later. It's kind of warning you, you've declared it, but you're not using it. Um, so what we're going to do instead is we're going to create a an array, and we're going to call it, uh, funnily enough, scores. Now to declare an array, we use int. Well, in this case, we're going to use int because the type uh, is an int. It's going to be a an integer uh, an array of integers. So int, and then we put square brackets, and we're the the name scores equals new, then int. And then here I'm going to put three. Okay, the three tells us how many spaces we have for data. So in our case, so I would say scores. If you hear children, it's because I'm at work. Scores zero equals eighty-five. Scores one equals ninety. And of course, I spelled scores wrong. And then scores. 2 equals 100. Now, you'll note here that I started with 0. This is called the index of the array. So even though there are three items, the index always starts at 0. So the first item on the list is 0, the second item is 1, and the third item is 3. So if I wanted to print this out, I would do system.out.print line, and let's say scores zero, and semicolon for example, and let's run that and see what we get. And it's a little slow day, so 85. Scores zero is 85. So that's basically how that works. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to copy this because I'm going to be typing it a gazillion times. And I'm going to leave that there because I oops because I want to leave a blank line on the screen. Now I'm going to combine what we did in the loops unit to print out all the scores. So I'm going to do it like this. So for int i, i is the index of the array. So the index is these numbers: 0, 1, 2. So i is less than scores.length. I'm going to explain this all in a minute. And i plus plus. Then I put my curly braces. And I'm going to do system out, print line, score, quote, plus i, plus, oops, plus, quote, colon. And I put a little space there to that. Plus scores i. And let me just move this over since we don't really need that for now. Scores i. Okay. So you say for i, i is less than scores.length, then i plus plus. So what this means is we're going to do a loop. So the braces here tell us the extent of the loop. Now i is the integer, is an integer. If i is less than the length of scores, do this. And if that's the case, then add one each time. Okay, so let me run that. See what that looks like. Okay. Variable i might I have been initialized. So I have int i. Ah, uh, dope. So int i equals zero. So I forgot to start it at zero. That was my bad. So let's run that again. And there we go. So what happens is we start with here, i equals 0. We've declared it as an integer. 
So is i less than the length of scores? The length of scores is 3. Okay. So if so, print score i, which is 0, and scores i, which is 0. So score 0 is 85. It comes back around. Notice here we have the incrementer. So i++, plus plus, this adds 1 to i. So i is now 1. So is 1 less than 3? Yes. Score 1, scores 1. Add 1 to i is now 2. So is 2 less than 3? Yes. Scores 2, or sorry, score 2, scores 2. Add 1, so i is now 3. Is 3 less than 3? No, it's not. And it will go down to the next line after the loop. So it's not super complicated, but not you know completely uh, simple. So let's say I wanted to calculate the average. So I'm going to say double because an average is going to be a, has some uh, decimal points. Average score equals. And I'm going to say scores zero plus all these space this time. Let's run out of this room. One plus scores two. And then I'm going to divide that by 3.0. And then I'm going to print that. And I'm just going to say average score, colon space, plus average, oops, it's average score, score. Okay, let me just move this over a little bit too. And let's run that and see what happens. Okay, there we go. So we got 85 plus 90 plus 100 divided by 3.0. That gives us 91.6 repeating. Okay. Um, next up, uh, let's do a new uh, array. And we're going to call this int heights. This, these could be strings. It doesn't have to be integers. It could be doubles. Um, but we'll stick to integers to keep our, our life easy. Now watch what I do here. Okay. So you can see what I'm doing in this case is I'm actually creating the array and I'm automatically putting these values into it. So up here what I did was I declared the array, I said it has three spaces, then individually I, changed, I added those values. Here, I'm doing roughly the same thing, but I'm just doing it all in one line. So think about this. What is the length of this array? So if you think about it, there are one, two, three, four items. So the length is four. Okay. Now, as you recall, the index always starts at zero. So the index of 150 is zero, then one, then two, then three. So now what I could do is I could probably, I can take this. I'm going to copy it. I could type the whole thing out, of course, but I like to be efficient. And instead of scores, I want to do heights dot length. And I'm going to print height and heights. And it should do the same thing. Now, the length of heights is 4. So I'm going to start at 0, go to 1, go to 2, go to 3, and then the next line. And there we go, 150, 160, 170, 180. Notice each time these are in order. So lists are an ordered data structure. So once it's in an order, it stays in that order unless you change the values. Now here's something interesting. Uh, if you're coming from Python, like many of my students, um, this is a for each loop. So in Python, what you would do is for, for example, for height in heights. But in Java, of course, it's a little bit different. So I'm going to leave a blank line. And I'm going to say for int height. So I'm declaring height to be a, an integer. Heights. Okay. So it's for int height colon space heights, because heights is the name of my array. So so what this means is for each integer height 
in this array of heights, I want to do something. In this case, I'm going to print out height. Okay. So this is a very convenient way of going through um, every single value in an array one by one in order. The only thing you don't get is you don't get the index, but if you don't need it, then you can skip that. So you can see how we got 150, 160, 170, and 180. So that is that, basically. Um, so basically, a quick look back. We have arrays. Uh, we declare the arrays in one of two ways. We either declare it kind of as an empty array with a certain number of, or a certain length, a certain number of spaces for data. We give it a type. In this case, now there are other data structures that aren't quite as strict, but we'll stick to this as this is a kind of a basic thing. And then I change the values individually. Okay. Now notice I can also, or note, I should say, I can also later change scores one again to, let's say, let's say 95. Let's say I made a mistake and I realized, oh, that student deserves a 95 uh, for instead of a 90. We'll see what happens here. And you see 95 is the value because this is the first time we assigned it. And then we said, oh, no, we didn't want that. We're going to change it to 95. Okay. Uh, and then there's a couple different ways of iterating through the array. Here we use the index method, so 0, 1, 2 in this case. Um, then we look at the way of calculating the averages. And then here what we did is we uh, instantiated the uh, array, but then added the values right from the start. And then we did the same thing of iterating through uh, on the index. And then down here, we did the for each method. So there's different ways of doing things. This isn't exhaustive, but hopefully this will help get you started. Stay tuned.